Kofi. Jumps up before the bell even starts. Hammering him outside the ring. Smashes him into the table. Another table smash. I can't believe it, but Elgin went right at him. He jumped him before the gun began. Well, it's a good strategy on his part, but uh, Ruffy loves fighting outside the ring. Ruffy loves fighting anywhere. Last time I saw Ruffy, he was beating up his wife. There's a blatant choke on the table, but has the bell even run yet? Hey, Ruff, get out of the way! There he is, beating Ruffy down over the table, Michael Elgin. I don't know if this match has even started yet or not. Ruffy fighting gets his shirt off. Oh, huge chop by Elgin on uh, the champion. And there's Ruffy starting, oh, Ruffy trying to fire back. Elgin with a big elbow smash across the back of the head. Drags Ruffy over, more punches from Silverstein. Another clubbing blow to the back. They're working their way all around this building here in Jay's place. That's right. I uh, smashed him over there. As long as he didn't hit him with a little dog, everything will be all right. Oh, he's, he's eating the Blob's chips. Oh, and he's spitting them everywhere. Spin them in Ruffy's face. That fired Ruffy up, but again, Elgin's still on him. Now Ruffy's reversed it. Oh! Smashes Elgin's head. Face right off the table. Oh, nice sidekick by Elgin. Another clubbing blow to the back of the head. I think they just dropped the Pure Wrestling Championship on the belt. The Pure Wrestling Championship on the table here. You know, with a yeah, it's a huge heavy belt, that's for sure. Now they're fighting out there. Things could get ugly. Things could get dangerous. Still, this hasn't got inside the ring. Another table smashed by Elgin. Now they're all the way back around. Almost where they started now. Oh, absolutely, they haven't even gotten in the ring yet. And I, I don't know, I, did, did I hear the bell or was I hearing things? I was wondering that myself, I have no idea if the uh -oh. bell's even rung. Oh, finally, Ruffy thrown inside the ring. And uh, Elgin's going in there now. There's a cover, I guess the match is underway. I suppose we did hear the bell, so it, it is on and it is going. And the referee is letting it all hang out tonight. That's right. Uh, see. Seems kind of silly to count that after everything else they let go. No, absolutely. They just beat the crap out of each other on the floor. And he's going to go out and tell him because he's choking him with his, what, what was that, a cow suede vest? I'm not sure what that was, but now he's choking him with his uh, strap. Um, the old school work by Elgin right there. Very smooth on his part. Taking advantage of the inexperienced referee. And now he's just all business, Michael Elgin. He's not pattern to the fans. Of course, not as Ruffy, but he hasn't had a chance. No, absolutely. Ruffy's been beaten since he's got out here, but Ruffy, who, the man that did it, the man that made Eddie Osborne say, I give up. Oh! Yeah, he did. And he just clubbered Michael Elgin right there. Now he's laying the stomp on him. And, and Ruffy says he's prepared to scrap till they top. And that's the way it's got to be, because one of these two men are going to leave here with the Pure Wrestling Championship. And that would be the better man for tonight. That's for sure. Both these guys, incredible competitors. And there's Ruffy with a big uppercut, drops Elgin on the mat, hauls him up by his hair. He's not calling the hair. No, though. no, big club across the back. There's a whip off the ropes. Big back elbow, drops the unreal Michael Elgin. Cover, just a two count. Only a two, wow. Yeah, it's incredible action to start this one off. These guys are flying at it. Big kick to the gut by Ruffy right there. I expect him to start breaking suplexes out because uh, next to you, I think he's got more suplexes than just about anybody. Oh, absolutely. Ruffy, I admire his suplexes. And oh my goodness. What a back elbow off the ropes from Elgin. He caught Ruffy coming in with that boot up on the charge. Made him eat the elbow right there. Ref out of position. And Ruffy kicks out. That could have been a three if he was down watching the shoulders. There's that one-handed choke by Elgin there. You think he does one-handed choking very often? Good, very well. Long, long, long trips on the road. Yeah, yeah. There's a choke blatantly behind the referee's back because the referee can't see it. That's right, but very well done. Um, and that's a move I think he might have picked up from you watching tapes of the sport in action. There's a lackadaisical choke on the ropes from Elgin right there. Well, 
looks like he's more worried about his hair and talking to the camera guy on the other side than he is beating up Ruffy. Yeah, that could be. And uh, a little bit of a leg choke on the ropes there. Another one. This is what a hell you know. He's demonstrated this uh, this uh, overconfidence, if you will, many, many times, and it's cost him. It's uh, this is something I think personally I think he has to work on. No, oh, absolutely. Well, Michael Logan is young, right? And you know better than I, Gordo. Young people are stupid. Well, that's true. But uh, I'll tell you one thing, Ruffy Silverstein. You don't come out of the hard dungeon feeling overconfident about anything. No, absolutely not. And uh, you know he's been in there. He's been stretched six different ways from Sunday. And. Uh, I guess it's a good time to yeah. remind people that uh, Ruffy has new DVDs coming out. Ruffy Silverstein Volume 1 and Volume 2. The history of Ruffy Silverstein. Oh, well, those will be definite must-buys. Folks, keep your eyes on purewrestlingcanada.com. They'll be available in Elements. For those and many, many, many more. That's right, people. The people that are listening to us tonight, all you listening in that home, make sure you come out to Elements in Kitchener tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be a kick-ass show. Of course, the main event of that show is going to be uh, Warhead against my personal good buddy, Mark Mandrake, in a barbed wire roast match. But right now, never mind the ball. Never mind, Elements. Look what's going on in the ring right now. Michael Elgin is slapping around Ruffy like he's a little baby. That's right, but Ruffy, so many storied battles I've seen this man have. How can you only restrict it to two DVDs? Every match I see this man in has been a classic. I can just name him off the top of my head. I've seen this guy in so many great matches. Fans are calling for the machine gun. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, what a vicious, vicious forearm that was. His head almost popped right off his shoulders. Yeah, big whip to the corner. Oh, Elgin. And he misses oh. the charge. Every time he banners to the fans, he misses his move. Well, see, like he said, he wasn't going to cater to them, but now he's playing to them. Yeah, and there he is. Couple of hip tosses now. Looks like Ruffy tried for the sharpshooter. Uh, oh, so oh! Reverse headbutt to the nutsack. Always a good move. That kept him from squirming. Yeah, but as you see there, Elgin's locked his hand around. Oh, yes. He knows the counter. The best way to counter this move is to counter it before you're in it. Well, absolutely. Because, Don't uh, get in it. <laughs> well, very few people. Oh, high rake. There's another great counter. One I wouldn't have thought of right at this first moment. No, but it certainly was effective. And a oh. big chop in the corner. And this referee seems to be totally out of his element. Uh, you know, he's calling some stuff. He's, not, he's got a fish hooked right there. The, what a great move. The, uh, he told me earlier he was going to fish hook Ruffy. Just for me. Just for you. That, that That's did. why he came over here? There he is. And there he is. He's fish hooking him on the ropes right there. Some classic work from Elgin using that four count. And it's been very effective. It's top rocks Ruffy's belt. Uh -oh. Now he's spit. Oh, and he's giving him a oh. spit watch. But that fired up Ruffy. Oh. Yeah, Huge that, chop. That could have been a little bit of the moisture he needed to wake back up. That may have been a bad thing by Michael Elgin. Yeah, snap mare. Machine gun. Oh, and there's the... He's trying for it. He's trying for the machine gun. But Elgin's got his head greased up. Oh. So he just kicks him in the kidney instead. Couldn't grab a hold of his ears because of the greasiness from his hair. That's right. Big punch to the forehead. There's another one in the bridge of the nose. There's one in the eyebrow. Oh, oh that one was a meat hook right square to the face. Oh, now, big club and blows across the chest. Three of them now. And there's another one. Elgin folded over like a big sack of potatoes. But manages to kick out. Only a two. Elgin is able to get up. Both these guys world-class competitors. Oh. oh, and there's another eye rake by Elgin. Beautiful defensive move. I think he touched his brain. He might very well have. Even though it's the size of a P, he probably still touched it. And there's Elgin. He's, you notice he's bracing Ruffy against his knee while he's driving. Oh, oh what a vicious knee to the face. I hope that uh, right to the eye Oh, and then a teabag cover. Ineffective, maybe, but a good psychological ploy. Rubbing his nutsack across Ruffy's brow while he's trying to get a, get the count. Absolutely. He, he gave him one knee right in the eye socket. And he could have knocked. Oh, Ruffy's obviously not knocked out, but he almost was. Yeah, Ruffy's hurting right now. And I don't know if this is a wise move on uh, Elgin's part to just go for a chin lock like this right now. You see the fans trying to rally behind Ruffy. That's what Ruffy feeds off yeah. this audience. Yeah, that he does. It's where he gets his rhythm. 
But oh, Elgin pulls him back by the trucks. He's gonna deny the fans what they want to see. Stepping on the knee, drives him back down to the mat, and all of a sudden it's dead silent in here because uh, they're heroes in a world of hurt. And now he's locked on the body scissors. Yeah, he's trying to almost, almost fit hand underneath the chin. It could almost be a lock. Yeah, but you can see uh, ruffy has got his hands locked together. He's countering that because he knows right there if he lets go of that hand, he's going to get that shoulder tore right out of its socket if Elgin gets the right leverage on it. And he broke his feet. And, oh, he's on his back. Oh. Oh, it's a good thing he broke his feet right there. Good counter wrestling by uh, by Ruffy Silverstein and great mat work by Michael Elgin. Just a technical standout this match has been, as well as a hard hitting slobber knocker, as you said. No, absolutely. These oh, oh, a jaw jacker from Ruffy Silverstein and uh, Elgin seeing stars, and it's not just me. That's right. Elgin bails outside the ring. He's hanging in the ropes. He's on the floor. Just kind of falls outside. He's staggered. Ruffy, now should he stay in there and take the count? Or should he, uh, no, he's coming out after him. Oh, big axe handle off the apron. Vicious. Elgin steals my water again. Oh, Ruffy blocked it. Yeah. Oh, they're trading punches. And that's the end of the wizard's water. Oh, he just, oh, what a vicious move by Michael Elgin. Oh, takes his head off with that one. This is just getting insane. Remember, folks, this is for the Pure Wrestling Championship here at Extreme April. And I don't even know the date, Gordo. It's uh, March, April the 12th. What am I saying? It's April the 12th. These guys are kicking the crap out of each other. Cover! Oh! Ruffy just barely able to kick out of that one. What's to say? One second away! One second away! Uh, I heard that somewhere once. Big whip by Elgin now, ever since that table move. Oh, what a brutal clothesline. Drops Ruffy. Oh, Again, the ref slow down to make the cover. You know, Ruffy's been hurting ever since he took that table outside the ring against the apron ring. No, absolutely, that hurts not only your ribs plus your back, and then he had Elgin jump on him in the process. Yeah, I think his spleen is still hanging on the apron. Oh, and it is a, a clubber and blow there. And again, you know, there's no consistency whatsoever to this referee's counts. No, absolutely. And you can see Elgin's, the face on Elgin, he's, he can't believe that he hasn't won this yet. Yeah, well, he's taking it to Ruffy Silverstein, but Ruffy's a resilient bastard. Make no mistake about that. And uh, now it looks like Elgin may be going up top. This is either going to be really, really good for Elgin or really, really bad. Yeah, well, whatever it's going to be, it's probably going to be unreal. And he missed by a mile and drove his own head into the mat. Well, nobody's having any luck off the match, off the ropes tonight, uh, Jesse. Oh, big running lariat from uh, Ruffy Silverstein. He can't even, Elgin's out. Oh, Ruffy couldn't even pick him up. Oh, somehow he kicked out. Barely. I thought he was knocked out. Barely got the shoulder up and Ruffy. Oh. Laying in the clubs. You can hear the vertebrae snapping on that one. Now he's choking Elgin in the ropes. Absolutely. He said, how do you like it now? And Ruffy is going to do anything it takes to retain his Pure Wrestling Championship. This has been an incredible match so far. And there it is. Oh, Isn't that what Joey does? I hate it. I hate it when Joey does that. Is that right? There you go. Yeah, that's right. Oh, no. He's cutting his man titties. You can't play with another man's testicles and not pay for that. Yeah, that'll leave some bad memories. And, and thankfully, I, I didn't see it from my vantage point. Well, the two couple on the other side of the ring from the 80s, they saw it, and now they're now holding each other's hands. Yes, that's true. Now, Ruffy there, working the elbow against the side of the head, trying to free up that other arm. Yeah, he's trying to get Elgin he's got the like a, He's almost an abdominal stretch on the mat right here. There he is, he got him tied up good now. Look at those short ribs of Elgin's are just, are just being twisted right now. Stretching and popping. And 
It's almost like Rice Krispies in his upper body right now. Very, Stack, tackle, pop. very effective move to put this one on in the mat like this because, you know, standing up in any kind of abdominal stretch, the, the man being up, upright on his feet can work the leverage by bending the hips. And uh, you see right there, Elgin's got a power out of this totally on his upper body strength. He's turned in a corkscrew. His ribs are popping. His cartilage is popping. What an amazing move. Wouldn't surprise me if... Uh, if he learned this from the master, Stu Hart himself. No, absolutely. Ruffy, he, he has moved. He's, he's taking his time. He's snapping, crackling, popping each and every one of his vertebrae, each and every one of his ribs, and oh, now he's... Oh, but he let go of the hole, and Elgin was able to just lumber over on top of him. And uh, Ruffy headed for the ropes. And uh, now he's uh, they're struggling for control near the corner. Ruffy in the ropes. But he lets go of his own uh, volition right there. He could have gone for the cheap break, but he didn't. Nope, they're they're trying to, I don't know what's going on here. They're trying to jockey for position here on the mat. Ruffy had Elgin down, now Elgin's got a hold of Ruffy. Neither men are, are able to break what's going on right now. It's gonna be, we're gonna, we're, what are we gonna see here, Gordo? I, I don't know. I don't know either, but it's obvious there's a lot of respect uh, between these two guys. Great Lakes is dead. Don't these people know that? Bradford will never see Great Lakes Championship Wrestling again. Well, you know, look at them. And there's uh, Ruffy trying to elbow his way out of trouble. Oh, big face plan right there. Elgin's down. And then uh, Ruffy tied him up again with a modified stump puller on the mat. And his shoulder's not down, but well, from this vantage point, I can't see because... And, oh, oh, what's his impact? Eddie Osborne runs in. What a horrible end to this match. Eddie, Eddie wants his belt back. And, oh, wait a minute. Gaza Coleman's out here. Gaza Coleman, folks. Gaza Coleman out here. Oh! He's got Eddie. He hauls Eddie outside the ring. Eddie, 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 Eddie bails. The proverbial scalded, quote unquote, dog. 